Greetings, Culture and Weird, and we're back with some more EXO, everybody. What? EXO is back. E we, we waited 12 Excellent. long months, yeah. but they're back. E 12 X months? 12 o. months. What? We haven't covered them since last year. No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah 2019 yeah. hasn't seen EXO yet until right now. Well, well, Merry Christmas to you guys, too. A week ago. Oh. So, November. Well, Merry Christmas to now, you guys, too. It's now December, so yeah, it's basically near Christmas at this point. Anyway. New song, Obsession, and some news after the video. What? <gasps> Stay tuned for that. Yeah. I'm going to be excited. Yeah, there's a lot going we on. We will do that, news so. news breakdown after we do our sponsorship. That will be our commercial break. Sure, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> let's get started. Hana? Do. Set? Go. go. I'll click it. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the clicker. Ooh. You're the clicker. I have seen no teasers, no nothing, so I have no idea. Ooh, but I like the lights. Where can I that get that cool. jacket? Zero, zero ten, not enough red. Oh, it's ten thousand dollars for it. Ooh, they put subtitles on. It's got a fencing sword. I think he got the point. <laughs> dude, Ooh, that your was abs are sick, dude. <laughs> Oh, this is cool. Really cool effects. Hell yeah. Oh, you look like the Joker. Oh. That outfit had Ezekiel Elliott vibes. <laughs> yeah. All he needs now to do is the DAC, the DAC Prescott. Dude, this is this is nasty, dude. Nice. Oh, oh that's cool. God. He's in Fire Force. He is. He is now um, one of only two people on the planet who can pull that the flat cap off backwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you see that he had the reverse iron throne? Yeah, I saw. That was pretty neat. So much going on in this music video. <laughs> I love it. This song is awesome. Oh. Oh, ah. oh man. It turns Pointy. Oh. Whoa. He's the Street Fighter demon guy. You made a Kuma? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I got that roundhouse. Firebender. Oh, my God. <laughs> And then the Fire Nation attacked. Whoa. Well, he's like your old phone that had the battery in there. So much particle effects. Oh my god. Get it. Cool. God, dude, that choreo is so nasty. I love that last part. That Disappear, was, get away from me. Oh, that was nasty. Oh, it's, oh! And the whole world's destroyed. <laughs> Fuck yes. So you guys do, finally we're doing a plenty good job on that by ourselves as, as well, human yeah, beings. Yeah, but EXO destroyed it for you. Mm. They're like, we see where this is going. Get out of here. They're the ultimate Final Fantasy villain right there. All right, well, let's go. Goddamn. It's a goddamn. God, it's a goddamn. It's a goddamn. Yeah, um, choreo, <laughs> outstanding. Outfits were outstanding. The backing beat was outstanding. Rah. 
dirty. Outstanding. Lyrics. The, the lyrics were really fucking good. They were really, really That's good. That's going to have to warrant another watch through. Woo. What's I was saying? There's so much going on right here. I'm like... <laughs> Between the be, between the the Dragon Balls Dragon Ball Z fight and like fire bending and uh, heads popping off with TVs in them and like what is going on, dude? And fencing and you know, dude, really cool fencing, but it was like yeah. almost like anime fencing too. Like you know, just drastically focus on like the smallest thing right there and just oh yeah, sh- oh my god, and the sparks on the swords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, it was incredible. I really, really love this. Oh god, I. I love EXO. They're so good. They're so good. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can, s- <laughs> I can see why everyone's obsessed with obsessed. 30 million views right now. Yeah, yeah no like, kidding. Oh, it, it's it's it was it was it was a oh gosh, man, it's hard to like describe just with everything kind of going through. I guess it had a really good kind of hip hop element to it. It had a really good kind of harder sound to it. Mm-hmm. It felt very organic. It didn't. It didn't have that kind of like manufacturer vibe. Yeah, it didn't have like that club feel where you kind of just go, "Oh, this is just for this kind of niche." Yeah, this is group, for, and this is just for, this is this, no. This was this a, is a, XO. Th- this is for everybody. We're gonna hit you in the yeah, face. Yeah, and it that. had some like hard hitting electro pop too, and yeah. but then it would also go soft and sensual, kind of right yeah. there a little bit right before the uh, right yeah. on the bridge. This was um, this felt like classic XO from like five years ago. Some would say peak, but guess what? Sometimes mountains have two peaks. What? Yeah. Whoa. Double mountain. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't no Mount Everest. Part two. <laughs> <laughs> Mount Everest is back, and it's pissed. <laughs> and it's bigger than ever. <laughs> Some say it's 60,000 feet down. Mount Everest 2. The Everesting. <laughs> uh, Everest For whatever reason, I thought you were going to say the foresting. <laughs> Everest 2. God's still crying. <laughs> This is just it, unbelievable, dude. It I mean, evolved into stupid again. It did. I, I like it when it does that, though. It's Whoops. like, wow. All right, um, we did it again. All right. It just it, it hit on all the things that that at least I think we crave for. Um, it didn't feel stagnant. Yeah, there was a lot of things kind of going with it, but I think the over the top excessiveness of the music video really complements the harder hip hop style to it. It oh, just yeah. it just God, dude. It's it it is a it is a Badass guys, song. it is a guys' night out. Everyone, you know, you're you're getting the car, you crank it all up right you're there. You got the neon, you got the neon lights going. You're getting hammered drunk, but then you take an Uber because you're safe with your friends. Dressed to the yeah. nines. I haven't heard that phrase in a minute. Yeah. Also, your Uber is a McLaren P1. Yeah, the good one, not those crappy ones. Yeah, <laughs> the not nine hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> so, anyways. We doing commercial break? Yeah, this is our this is our little sponsorship thing. uh, Before Um, we're brought to you by uh, SeatGeek. First purchase, use that for twenty bucks off. Go see a concert, have a great time. SG Cauldron. SG Cauldron's the code. Be in the description below. Uh, Also in the description below, the link to our other sponsor, Eargasm Earplugs. While you're at that concert, protect your hearing. Filters out that crazy concert noise. Thanks to them for making this happen, Tyler. So you can listen to more obsession. Yeah, you can listen. To, so you can listen to more obsession later in life. Indeed. When you're like seventy, and you're like, this shit bumps. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, you'll just have I to can't. hear the bass because you can't actually hear anything. <laughs> I can't. Well, that's, dan- what the, that's what the earplugs are for. So you can hear it down the road. Good point. I certainly could have danced this when I was young, and I still can't now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> when, when we go down to the soda fountain. <laughs> Oh my God, uh, Tyler, we take the news 1950s. away. <laughs> okay, so obviously, uh, all, get of the, all of I want to get a nice all of the things that you were saying and more about okay. this video. Okay. It's incredible. Uh, I had heard that some, XO was doing something. Purposely didn't look into any of it on purpose because I wanted to be surprised for once. Purposely didn't look into any of it on purpose. Yep. It had such a purpose. He had to say it twice. Wow. Okay. Indeed. Okay, so anyway, there's some uh, there's some news that I read today at work that is um, both exciting and a little concerning. So too hot, too quick. EXO's members were on um, a Korean television show. Okay, and they were 
uh, the hosts were just talking to them about um, their experiences, what they think they want to do next. Uh, all of the the six, kind of the, okay. the six members that are currently here have about uh, four more years before they have to go in the military. Yeah. Or about two years, then they're military, and they're going to be in for two years. Yeah, yeah. So they were talking about all of these things, and they started to complain about SM, mm. the company, which seemed strange to me. No, SM, you know, a candy company. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. You, yeah. know, you normally uh, don't talk about bite the hand that feeds you, but in this case, they have plenty to complain about. It's December of 2019, and they're just now coming out with a song. Well, we've talked about before how SM has a hard time uh, promoting what they already have. And we were already critical during Jopping, and everyone was like, no, shut up. This is dumb. You're being dumb. No, we're are not. We with, Jokes are, on you. We're always dumb, but we know what we're talking about sometimes. Are we, though? Because yeah. it took till December or late November before XO came out. And they usually yeah, come problem. out in, like, September. Yeah. Hmm. Where was that? Oh, wait, I forgot we spent all of the money on Jopping. <laughs> You know how much the tanks cost in Abu Dhabi? A lot. Like $8 million. By the way, too, that music video was like a freaking movie. I mean, the budget yeah. on that had to have been nuts. So the, the members were talking about how SM doesn't spend the money that they used to on XO anymore. Like, okay. they used to send them around the world, and they would record so and do all these things, and now Dallas. they're just, like, not anymore. <laughs> and they also were talking about, and this is to a less effect, but it kind of explains where the, where the group is right now. So the leader... He uh, usually gets a suite by himself, and it's usually a much bigger room than the rest of the members. Why is that? That is because then he can host everybody in his room. They can all hang out in his room. Okay, that's actually a way better thing than what I was going to say, because I thought he was a shy pooper. No, no, no. And, like, he just, like, listen. Stop. Like, no, <laughs> listen. No, no, listen. Stop. No, no Rick and Morty yeah. references. Oh, come on. All right. So, anyway. Hey, uh, some people, like, actually have that. That's a real thing. Okay, I, I understand. Okay, all right. But, there we go. Like, so... XO yeah. was talking about how when they travel international and stuff, they usually just rent out an entire floor at a hotel. I would think so that for a, so as that big as they like, are, that so it, that it's like safe for them and yeah. safe for the fans. Sure. So nobody's like trying to run on their floor and be like, "Oh, I can't believe we're standing next to XO or anything." They just rent the whole floor out. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess they're not doing that anymore, and they're also like getting smaller and smaller rooms, so they're being cheap, essentially. X er, mm. what SM has a real bad habit of being shitty in the wrong places. Oh yeah. I mean, I I mean, perception is reality, and it doesn't take long for some of these things to kind of make their way. You know, come like, to like light. yeah, you know, these things kind of come to light. It's like, wait a minute, you were used to doing these things. Well, why not? You yeah, know, we make... were we were your number one. Are you just saying just because now this other group is around, or these other two groups that you've made in the last two years are around that we're just like. What are we hmm. to you now? Are we not the money maker we used to be, or what? Well, maybe if you promoted them, they would be exactly. But that—that's the thing. That's... Is like it doesn't sound like like the people who are behind SM know what the hell they're doing. No, and to or, that point, or, uh, that... or or they're or they're too focused on quantifying yeah. what we put into and what we're getting out of it. It could be something as simple as it's like, well, you know, why are we going to be spending you know a hundred thousand more dollars right here when yeah, that could be better used somewhere else right here. Yeah, they'll be fine. But again, the the perception of things is yeah. is, is that you know, you're used to coming in like these big upscale hotels or you know, you're being um you know, shuttled to some of these shows in like really nice vehicles and then you start seeing less of that or you start to see cutbacks. It kind of And gets if you're the, the person image. who's in that, you're you start to become concerned because you're like, are we going to have a job? Be, well, it might also go it's like, listen, you know, year over year we're killing it. We're doing better every year, but yeah. why are we getting less? Why are we getting less? It's are like we you're not asking us to do this as here well as we, th we think we are. So yeah. anyway, so this all led to the thing of the guy was a uh, the the host of Venture. were like, "So are you guys going to resign with SM?" And they're like, "Look, we have two years left, and we've started to talk. We haven't talked with the company yet, but we as members are starting to talk with us, and we don't know. We might just decide to go and uh, make our own company." That's happening a lot, and that that really uh, goes to show, like, you know, if if you aren't being treated properly, it's like, why the hell should I stay? Yeah. And I think they're justified in that. It's like, you know, if I don't feel appreciated, why should I stay? Half of the members yeah. of FX left SM this year, <laughs> yeah, and they're with their own companies now, and they're doing girls' better. generation for that. Matter. But maybe it's also because of, 
And, and, and it's not just in the K-pop scene, too. I mean, we see a lot of it here, too, in the Western side. You know, we, we start to see that they don't, their, they don't own their own music. They don't feel that they're getting compensated for the amount so of hours. So they just leave. And they so then they just kind of go, they kind of go, people know who we are. People know what we do. You know, let's just get a private investor or, you know, just get financial backing. I mean, like like we talked about like uh, a few weeks ago, you know, you could almost like Indiegogo of like, hey, we want to st- want to do a tour right here. It cost X amount right here. Icon you know, for Hire right. did that when they went independent and yeah. they, they've, been, they've been rolling it since. Yeah, so they it is. It is possible because they they went independent. Yeah, like, exactly. So it's and possible. I know there, if, but oh. and we all know EXO goes independent. Yeah, they might have to change their name, but uh, Beast did that. They mm-hmm. they, yeah. uh, they started their own company, renamed themselves Highlight. More successful now than they were when they were with Cube. There you go. So I think there's or I think there's... or Psy started his own company. Now he's signing ex K-pop members from other companies and other groups. Arguably doing very well for himself. So it it, it just kind of goes to show, I, I think with these success stories, it's starting to be really attractive for them, especially when they reach a certain point. When you're when you're out just starting, yeah, you... You want to start with the one of the big you, three or... You want to you you get, get someone that'll really help kind of push your yeah. stuff. But then there's going to be a certain point where you kind of go, dude, we can do this on our own right here. You know, we just... We can make our own. Need money. the financial backing. We can make this happen. And again, all That's these the key, and it? all those examples you just gave me kind of just furthers the point of like, dude, look at all these guys could do it right here. And in their mind, they're thinking we're just as good as we're just as good as them right there. Why can't we make that happen? Exactly. And and so. that's and that's when you start to kind of things maybe get set in motion. And now I'm not saying any of this is going to happen. I'm just reporting as I read today that that's what's currently happening. So whether EXO decides to re-sign with SM or whether they all decide to leave either before or after military service, we don't know yet. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see and just see what the future un- unfolds and or how the future unfolds. And that that's really all we can do as fans. But yep. Um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, because that, that's the thing with liking like artists and groups and bands. It's like you're, you're just kind of along for the ride. Pretty much, and and honestly, if they're not being properly treated by SM, I don't want them to stay. No, why would you? Well, yeah, it, it, not, it limits not, the potential that they could achieve. Yeah, and I'm yeah, not, no, no. I'm not interested in having artists be trapped by their, by their Companies. sugar daddy. So you no. know, mm, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think we'll bring this one to a close. Good timing. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Corey, send us out. That'll be the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You know what to do. Search our name. You'll find us. Also, I already mentioned our sponsors earlier. You can check out me on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash culture of weird. Chris, twitch.tv MC underscore boost tank. Tyler has no Twitch. He I is don't. Twitchless. I am Twitchless. And we'll see you in the next video. The doctor's very concerned about him. Send him money. Yeah. Bye. Donate now (laughs) with your phones. On Patreon. Bye.